So we've already played through this a few times. Um, this one being a brand new version. Um, bring the mic a little closer so I don't have to lean over so far. All right. <clears throat> so we played through this a few times, and this one being the uh, what I would like to call the the alpha version. Um, this is a version that um, myself and uh, someone named Cruz um, went through and um, altered things to where we thought that you know this would be cool, this would be cool, uh, things like that. Um, if you saw a previous video that I made, um, I wanted uh, there to be like dog or puppy type Pokemon as the starters. Um, unfortunately, uh, the ones that I wanted couldn't necessarily be uh, placed because I, I really wanted uh, Zygarde in the dog form to be placed. Uh, but I had forgotten that he wasn't he didn't come out until Sun and Moon. Uh, so this was uh, after this game was made. Um, so he was unable to be a starter. So what we did instead is uh, spice things up. Uh, with some stronger, um, relatively stronger doggos, uh, just just to spice things up, uh, have have some really cool starters, and uh, you guys will be able to see that there are a few other things as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this. And so if you guys are unaware, this is more or less going to be a playthrough or a Nuzlocke of uh, Alpha Sapphire. Not many things have changed, but there are some changes. And there could be more changes to come in the future, for sure. Um, this is more just a, a rough playthrough of, of what we had in mind at first. There are many more ideas to come and many more ideas on my list. Um, so that's one of the coolest things there is the tile screen has been updated. Um, it does bother me a little bit that it's a little off, um, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's still super cool. Um, and we'll see if, uh, if Cruz is able to fix that or not. But, uh, you guys definitely, definitely thank Cruz for doing this. Uh, he did, he did all of the changes for this in like a day. It was amazing. Um, so definitely, definitely thank Cruz for, for the changes that have been done. Uh, so what, basically what took me like... A month or more to do like probably like three or four months to do uh, he did in like a day and even like splash something like the title screen here in as well like is it it's a absolutely amazing and I love it and I'm so grateful to, to have his help on this project uh, because if you're unaware this this game is actually made to to more or less be my son's first Pokemon game um, I want to introduce him into Pokemon and him have an awesome time and uh, it you know uh, with Sapphire being um, my one of my first ever games, uh, I wanted it to kind of feel like his first ever game as well. And so um, Alpha Sapphire has some, basically the same exact story. Uh, hey, what's going on, man? Um, so I want it to be the same exact story uh, as kind of you know what I went through as a kid. And uh, that is Alpha Sapphire, um, along with Mega Evolutions and things like that. So I'm super, super happy uh, to have um, this be more or less my son's first game, uh, hopefully. So did you pre-order the Diamond and Pearl remake? I have not. Uh, I have not. Um, I probably need to fairly soon. Um, but yeah, I will probably... I don't know. I'll have to look and see which like Pokemon are going to be like the the game specific Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, kind of like what I did with Sword and Shield. Like I didn't buy Sword because there was like one or two Pokemon that I really cared about in Sword, 
and you can get all of the other ones plus some in shield and then I just traded for the other ones but uh, hi sorry to keep you waiting welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Brandon but everyone calls me the Pokemon professor and this is what we call a Pokemon This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends and at times helping one another out. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try and unravel those mysteries, but that's enough about me. I think I finally got through all of that. I don't think I've ever gotten through that text before. <laughs> so I was trying to read super quick. I've never gotten through that until just now. What about you? Are you a boy or a girl? Give me your name. So since this is more or less going to be a game uh, specifically made for my son, we're going to use my son's name, Kai. So you're Kai. Ah, oh, I see. You're that Kai. You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town where I live. Uh, I think there was actually, and it might have just been in my text files, uh, I think there was supposed to be um, something here that claims uh, that the main character is uh, related to uh, Professor Brandon or Professor Birch because um, I know I had that in the last version I played um, but it might have just messed up in my text files so that might be something else that we have to fix so but it's not the biggest deal um, so so far the things that we found is that the title screen is a little off and that uh, I think there's supposed to be another line of text here or uh, rearranging of the text here Are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me at my Pokemon laboratory. Kai, here at last. Thank you for riding in the thank you for riding in the back of that bumpy moving truck all that way. Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Kai. Come on, have you seen this have you seen Whoa, you have to see the inside. Sikai, isn't it nice in here? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a cinch. Growl, growl, growl. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. You should go and see your new room upstairs. Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time though. How do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. 
they finished moving everything in downstairs too. It really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. It's the Pedalbird Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. We brought you this report live from in front of Pedalbird Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star town. Next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, dad's brother lives in this town. Professor Brandon is his name. He lives right next door. Yeah, see, so it says, uh, that, that says that uh, he's brothers with Professor Brandon. I'm pretty sure that first uh, line earlier was supposed to be something along the lines of uh, the character being a relative. Uh, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okie dokie. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Kai, our next-door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter in about the same age as you. She's been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. Pokemon fully restored. Items are all ready. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you must be Kai. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm Mei. Glad to meet you. I, I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad... Oh, I mean, Professor Brandon told me about you moving here. Well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right? So what am so what am I talking about? <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help dad catch some wild pokemon. I'll see you later. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Help me! Hello, you over there. Please, help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. This is where things are going to get a little interesting. <laughs> so, we have Suicune, Raikou, and Entei. None of which you can see because their character models are so tall. But for this particular playthrough, oh man, I love all of these guys so much, but for this particular playthrough, we're going to go with Entei. Because we are doing a Nuzlocke, and there is something else that uh, needs to be uh, edited, uh, but it's not edited at the moment. And I'll let you guys know that when it happens. Um, but because this is a Nuzlocke, we want to try to make it as easy on ourselves as possible. So, and uh, one more thing that I did not realize is that in, I believe, Gen 5, um, Entei only has Bite and Leer. Uh, so, I thought that it would be the same case for this game. Obviously not. But, so I thought it was going to start out with Bite and Leer, and it would, it would have been the same for Suiku and Raikou. Or Suikun and Raikou. But, 
that is definitely not the case uh, because he also has extra sensory and lava plume which is a little broken but at the same time it's a legendary pokemon we can we can let that slide i think so we're gonna go ahead and just lava plume and see what happens Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One hit KO. Phew. I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Oh? But you're Jake's boy, Kai. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. So, Kai. I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you didn't have your own Pokémon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say that's to th to say thanks for rescuing me out there. How about I give you that Pokemon that you used earlier? While you're at it, I'm not gonna. While you're at it, why not give it a nickname? That's that's the spirit. So what kind of name will you go with? And there's only really one name for an Entei, right? Oop, not that. You know, if you work, you, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl May happens to be out on Route 103 right now, surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Great. I'm sure May will be happy to hear that, too. She can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh, yes. And if you're ever lost along the way, use the Area Nav on your PokéNav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where May ought to be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, come rest back at your house. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Entei. Alright, so we are plus speed minus special defense. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Um, let's see here. We are going to swap out the bite and the extra sensory though. Uh, because we are more physically offensive. So let us see what kind of Pokemon will be in our first route. Ooh, would you look at that Charmander? And we should put, bam, Entei up on the screen. All right. A. So we have a chance to get a Charmander on our first route. Let's see what else we could possibly get. Oh, would you look at that Chikorita? How's it going, my boy? It's going pretty well. 
It's going pretty well. Um, we are playtesting uh, what I'm calling the Alpha for Pokemon Sun. And I could not be more excited. Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay. Being super kind-hearted as I am, <clears throat> I'm going to give you useful advice. First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just look for a blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. I'd like you to have these as as part of a special promotion. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. And this is a Poke Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Game looks good, but I thought it'd uh, be actual sun, not Oris. No, I like uh, like one of my first ever games uh, was Pokemon Sapphire. Like Pokemon Sapphire is the the game that I played the most as a kid, um, and so I really wanted to kind of like convey that to Kai. And so Alpha Sapphire being uh, it can have much more Pokemon. Um, there's Mega Evolution. There's so many things that that you can do with with Oris. Um, it was just, it seemed like a no-brainer for me to pick Oris. But there may be a, uh, Pokemon Sun 2 in the future, and that might be Pokemon Sun. It's a good choice, yeah. And I also didn't like the fact that Sun was Trials and not Gym Badges. I was not a fan of the, the Trials. I hope he loves it too. And then, uh, and then, like I said, I'm calling this the Alpha, uh, just because there's more things that I want to do. Um, there's things uh, that doesn't don't necessarily need to be fixed, but need to be tweaked. Um, things like that. And so, this is actually one of the things that needs to be uh, tweaked. So, uh, what's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then. Don't we, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. So this is what needs to be tweaked. Uh, because as of right now, it's extremely unfair for our rival. Because they actually have a Trico. <laughs> so we're sitting here with an Entei and they have a Trico. So um, we definitely need to go in, uh, me and Cruz need to go in and uh, make sure that she gets one of the legendary dogs as well to make it you know fair um but yeah as of right now in the alpha it's extremely unfair because we can just do this and just end their life <laughs> we're too good for you may too good for you Wow, that's great. Kai, you're pretty good. It's all in the legendary, baby. <laughs> it was a good battle. Thanks. Let me heal up both our po both our parties real quick. Yeah, you probably need to heal up yours after that. Wow, I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, and you've already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew, I guess I'd better head back to the lab.
Let's hurry back to Little Root. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing! May's been helping me with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Kai, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, she comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your, uh, if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Uh, I'm getting to I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Oh wow, Kai. Now you've got a Pokedex too. That's great. Just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch wild Pokemon. The Nuzlocke has officially begun. If you catch a wild if you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Kai. All right. Kai, wait. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Brandon? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon you've got from the Professor. How nice. You are your father's child, all right. You look good, at, you look good together with a Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, Pumpkin. Stopped again. And sadly, we cannot use the Pokenap Plus in uh, this version of the game uh, because I'm using it on an emulator and not an actual 3DS. This is our first encounter, boys. Okay, I'm not mad. I really like Bulbasaur. Okay. So can we have like the first encounter luck? I'm pretty sure it's like built into the game to, for this to automatically work, right? Okay, so we not only have an Entei, we now have a Bulbasaur as well. Let's see here, what could we call Bulbasaur? Hmm. Let's see. I don't even know how to spell this, but what about... Is that how you spell rutabaga? <laughs> Let's see.
absolutely not. You spell it with a U, but we're going to spell it with a double O for comedy's sake. Rutabaga, the Bulbasaur. Alright, let's go ahead and put him into our party on the screen. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Go to my gifts, wherever they are. There they are. And Bulbasaur should not be too far down. There he is. There we go. All right. See that right there? There's a little tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Unfortunately, we can't do any of this. It'd be cool, especially if we were like to shiny hunt or something in this, but Unfortunately, we can't do this. Which is fine, though, because um, hopefully, once the game is completely done, um, I'm going to see if there's any way that we can... Um, that we can transfer it to, to like, a, a cartridge or something, maybe. Um, I think that would be insanely epic. Alright, so let's check out our Rutabaga. So, ugh, negative defense, which isn't great. Plus speed isn't necessarily great for a Bulbasaur either, but we'll take it. We will take it. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and save. Because since we are playing on an emulator, there is a good chance that at any moment, for some reason, it could crash. Yo, I didn't even know about this. <laughs> so I feel like Cruz 100% did this to surprise me, and I am 100% surprised. That would have been so epic to have. We could have had two fire doggos. I would not have even been mad. Bro. That's literally epic. Look at that massive beast. That's so cool. should have an encounter up here as well I believe uh, yes okay so what can we get up here you know what that's fair that's fair not everything can be epic it makes it balanced not everything can be outrageously cool like an Arcanine so you know what I, I get it I get it. And that hurts. Okay. And it's a crit. Okay. You have made your point, Wingle. You have definitely made your point. Ah, 
Come on, Wingle. Don't be that guy. Yo, I'm gonna need you to chill out, though. For real. Come on, Wingle. Just get in the ball, buddy. Yeah, that would suck if we lost Inte this early. Let's see here, what can we call the Wingle? Hmm. A female Wingle. This is a toughie. Um, ah, I think I got it. Boom, and there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put Wingle in the party. Do to do to do. Okay, there we go. Wingle has such an odd shape, it takes up so much space. Alright. We definitely need to heal up after that though. And possibly get us get ourselves some items. Grab a couple potions. on Pokeballs and then we'll buy two antidote just in case because you never know and then we have like five bucks left and we will go ahead and save here as well because I am a saving fiend Anytime I think to save, I usually save. Alright. And we have an encounter here. Okay. We're kind of getting a little bit of the spectrum here. 
So we've got an Oshawott, or we hopefully will have an Oshawott. Um, can I damage this thing? I hope so. Just do not get a crit. Okay. Sick. Please only have tackle. that a critical capture? That might have been a critical capture. Oh no. Darn it. That was a critical hit though. Oh my goodness. Like it's not even shaking in the Pokeball. There's no way I can damage this thing again, right? <sighs> what is Oshawa's catch rate, man? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll run over here and heal up one more time since we're so close. And that way we can save inside of the Pokemon Center as well. Yo, we are getting an all star team, my guys. Uh, we also need to add it to the screen. to get to the next town and grab a couple more encounters um, I would love to get six encounters before we start training and grinding because for a Nuzlocke I definitely have to to grind uh, if you have Pokemon with you then you're an official Pokemon trainer you can't say you can't say no to my challenge
All right, you were challenged by Youngster Calvin. You know, the trainers of Hoenn are not ready. You know, I just realized that it says uh, Papa used pressure. That's a whole nother level of crazy. <laughs> So, um, for any uh, active members, uh, active followers on Twitch, um, I am also going to be um, keeping track of who is all active throughout the, the playthrough, the Nuzlocke. Um, and each one of each person who is an active member of, of the chat, of following the Twitch, um, will be entered into a chance to win uh, certain plushies. So, out of these these three guys um so you could win this cute little sitting uh whooper you could you you could win this adorable little sitting uh nidoran it's so cute and these guys like the little sitting ones they're like little beanie babies they're so cute um or even the the bigger dust skull super cool um, and there will be more uh, giveaways in the future as well and so anyone who is active and does not win one of these plushies uh, will get a free entry into uh, any future giveaways as well so that being said that being plugged let's keep on moving <laughs> our eyes met I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon Let's see what you got, Rick. And in the beginning, um, I'm really only using Bite just to make things seem a little fair. Um, because if I just lava plumed everything, we would just breeze through the beginning of this. Alright. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. You are challenged by Youngster Allen. Get that flinch. Oh, the double flinch. Mm. Let's see. What moves does... Otis no. Tackle. You know what? Let's see what Otis has got. Let's see if he can take on a Talo. I believe in you, Otis. That's some pretty big damage. I think Otis is in the clear on this one. 
three hit KO. Not a bad, not bad, Otis. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. furthering your career. Hey! How's it going, Kai? Have you been using your dex nav and perfecting your sneaking skills? Unfortunately not. Look up there. Check them out, Kai. Those were beautifully, weren't they? I'll have to check in my dex nav later to be sure. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I guess it's true that time flies when you're with great with a great friend. Oh, look, there's Pedalberg already. Kai, your dad. He's the gym leader in Pedalberg City, isn't he? Maybe I should try to take him on uh, myself once I train up my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'm off then, Kai. Let's meet up again sometime. Okay, I think there's actually an item down here, yeah. Definitely need a potion. Oh, a cute little toy twig. I like Oshawott. And we don't need two grass types this early. But man, that would have been cool. Take a look at Ember. I mean, we have a lava plume. I mean, if we wanted to make things seem a little bit more fair, we could get rid of lava plume. But then I don't know. I don't know Entei's move set. Uh, let me actually look that up real quick. Because if he doesn't learn anything else good, then. We don't need to get rid of Lava Plume, but if he learns something like Flamethrower or something down the line, then we can get rid of Lava Plume to make it seem a little bit more fair. Um, let's see. Give me 
just a second. Level up in Gen 6. He learns Ember, Fire Spin, Flamethrower. Okay, so yeah. And he learns Lava Plume again at level 57. So yeah, to make it more fair, we'll just get rid of Lava Plume for now. So this is a Nuzlocke, and I should not have done that, but at the same time, he's our starter. Okay. We actually haven't even looked at the other guys, have we? I don't even think we've looked at some of our Otis' stats. Let's see. Uh, defensive. Okay. Okay. We can live with that. Because, I mean, what are we worried about here? Electric and rock? It's, it's good against rock. Okay. What about Otis here? Uh, they look like a neutral nature. Quirky. Alright. Uh, do we have any hidden abilities? Let's look at that. I'm pretty sure he only gets pressure. So yeah, that's pressure. Overgrow, keen eye, and torrent. Okay, I don't think anything hidden ability wise. Not bad. It was a good battle. Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me again anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna do I'm going to do special training with my Pokemon, then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Jake. Hmm? Well if it isn't Kai. So you finished moving in? I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around out here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. You know, I sure was surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Ah, oh, I see. You're making a good start on your team. Mm-hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Kai. Now that's something to look forward to. Um, e excuse me? I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Uh, hmm? Aren't you... You're Wally, right? Y yes, I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Verdenturf Town for a while. 